Hello, Doctor. Oh, hi, Andrew. How are you today? Are you ready for that procedure? Yes, Doc, and to be honest with you, I'm a bit worried about it. I mean a vasectomy. It's a big decision not to have any more kids. But the two we have are all my wife and I can support, so we both decided that this was for the best. I understand completely, but not to worry. It will be over with in no time. <sighs> Thanks, Doc. Well, I guess I'm ready when you are. I'll send in the nurse to get you prepped shortly. In the meantime, though, can I please see your results from your urethral endoscopy? M my what? Your urethral endoscopy. The state legislature just passed a law mandating that every male who wishes to receive a vasectomy must first undergo this procedure. So, have you had one? I'm very confused right now. It's quite simple. The state feels that you deserve to know what your sperm looked like before you lose any chance of ever producing them again. Therefore, we stick a camera like this up to your urethra so that we can find one of your sperm, and then you can decide if you still want to follow through with a vasectomy. But why is that even medically necessary? I've already told you I've thought long and hard about this, and all this appears to do is cause me additional discomfort. Yes, well, the state knows best here. So, if you haven't had the procedure done, then I can perform one right here, right now, and simply add it to your bill. You mean you're going to charge me for an uncomfortable procedure, which I am being forced to have against my will, which is not medically necessary for the vasectomy? This is ridiculous. I'm not having the endoscopy. Then I'm sorry, Andrew. I cannot perform your vasectomy without one. What am I going to tell my wife? Well, I'll tell you what I can do. I can write your prescription for these pills. Take one one a day, and then in three days your sperm production will stop. Then, if you ever change your mind, you can simply stop taking the pills, and in a few days you'll be virile again. It should be covered by your company's insurance policy, too. Okay, fine. I guess that will have to do. Say, Andrew, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, boss. What is this about? Well, I was looking over your medical insurance coverage, and I see that you have a prescription for buy spunk be gone? Yes, I do, but why are you interested in that? I'll get to that in a bit. Now, from what I've read about buy spunk be gone, it can be used to treat certain forms of testicular cancer. Andrew, we're concerned about our employees' good health. You're not suffering from cancer, are you? Oh, she's boss, no. With our two kids doing well, my wife and I simply decided that it was for the best that we not have any more kids at the moment. I had wanted to get a vasectomy, but I refused to go through with that unnecessary endoscopy. So the doctor recommended those pills instead. It's actually kind of nice, because, I mean, if we do actually come across the means to actually support more kids, then, hey, I can just stop taking a pill and we'll be ready. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that, Andrew. You see, the view here at Big Company USA is that every sperm is sacred. So I'm sorry. We cannot endorse your use of this product. And if you want to, you'll have to cover the cost yourself. But it's the insurance company itself that's providing the coverage, and me through my payments into our health plan. Yes, but that plan is provided to you through this company, and we cannot endorse its use as a birth control. But sir, the current children we have are already a handful. I already adjust my work schedule around them. If we accidentally have more, I'm afraid it will affect my job performance. I can't help but feel this company is pushing its morals on me. Andrew, you represent this company at all times, and as such you must always represent the company values, and this company's values each and every sperm produced. And given your attitude here today on this matter, I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. Big Company as USA has absolutely no right to dictate my decisions with respect to my reproductive health. I'm sorry, Andrew, but the state disagrees. This is outrageous!